Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Terrium Basketball with TGN and today let's go ahead and concentrate a bit more on uh, fighting off the odd spider. Go away. Alright. Now on a more serious note though, it's time to finally give this little animal trap some more shape. But first of all, I need to to find a way to get inside my own trap. Alright, that will do for the time being. Now, um, first order of business, I need something um, to get water from. This is the middle of the room, which will become the part where all animals are collected, and I'm going to make a water spring here. You do this by um, combining two buckets of water in a diagonal shape, so you put one bucket like here and one bucket like here and that's an infinite spring right now. You can take as much buckets as you want it will always set back to infinite status. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to make a water trench. First of all you normally want to make these trenches two blocks wide and um, I believe the water will flow for eight blocks, counting the source block as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here should be the last block. Let's try it with nine, shall we? And as you can see, it doesn't quite reach it. Not enough. So the water has to be here. That's one block, and that will flow into this one. You have to add another block, and then that will steady out the um, water stream and go right into the middle where you want it. Alright, that's the first part done. Now you have to go one level up. So, let's remove these torches. Pull that one back a little bit. Now we have to go one level up. That means adding additional base. And this doesn't have to be made out of dirt here at the moment because uh, monsters or animals won't spawn on water. They won't spawn on water, period. So, let me make a guidance system that will guide the water flow. Otherwise, it will just go ahead and spill all over the place. Okay, we count out eight blocks again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put in the source block here. And that should be good. Alright. Second part of the trench is done. I think one or two more and we're finished with this part of the main trench. That's running the whole line down here. So let's see. Go back a little bit more. As you can see, if you build it like this um, from scratch, I can show you guys better how it's done, but um, there's a drawback, and that drawback is that you have to put in lots and lots of blocks. Or you can just go ahead and um, leave some blocks open and just put in a torch so no monsters uh, spawn in there. It's up to you what you do at this point. I'm just uh, building it up, so in order to get rid of some of my cobblestone that I have, and you know I have excess cobblestone from all the diamond mining I did, so yeah, why not use it? It's just clogging up my um, my toolboxes, so yeah. Just go ahead and build this stuff in here. Okay, so again, pull down little guidance, and Again, count eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And set the current. All right. Oh, by the way, um, yep, that should be working. Okay. So we can make one last, um, one last block thingy here, I believe. Let's see if that will work out. It might be not enough, but we'll see. So, uh, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Barely. It's just enough. That's actually that's great. 
But first of all, I need to get more water. Now you can already see that this infinite spring down here that will ultimately be removed as soon as all the canals are complete, but um, for now it's uh, pretty handy to have that near where you're building so you don't have to go to let's say a lake or something like that all the time because that can get quite tedious work so yeah better bring your own water okay so if I didn't miscount that should be alright working great so basically when you're a dumb animal say let's say you spawn someplace well let's build let's pretend this is dirt you spawn here and you'll think, oh no, I'm going to drop down there, that will hurt, so I just drop down here. Then you're in the water, and there is no way out. The current will push you, push you farther, and you want to get out here. That could be possible, but not if Evil Terrian builds up some more blocks here. I believe this is the point where you can't get out. Nope. Let's have a look here. Still no way. You're here. Nope. Nope. So yeah. Basically as soon as it's two blocks high you have no chance of getting out so that would have to be two blocks high as well. And the animals get pushed down here, pushed down here, pushed down here and finally into this little hole where they will fall down into some other water and then at the end a mysterious device that will end up um, killing them and collecting the stuff and you can just go ahead sit AFK at one spot and collect all the loot. That's the idea of a mob trap. Right guys. <laughs> well at least the spawn's working. Some cows decided to randomly spawn. Alright, why not? I'll kill them later. Just go ahead and um two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just I'm just going to go ahead and um build another trench real quick. You see this this isn't something that needs a lot of time, um you will spend far more time on just going ahead and um carving out the area where your traps are going to be. This stuff here actually is quite quick work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Check it once. Alright. That one's finished too. And now we might have a problem because I think that up here won't be eight blocks. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven blocks. That isn't good. But it might still work. So, let's give it a try. Let's put down some guidance for the water. Alright. Now this can work right now or it can horribly fail. If it horribly fails, then you have to make a trap one play one block bigger or you have just to accept that you won't have um water at this point and it seems to work actually let's see what happens if you put in a second water source okay no problem that should work perfectly let's see yep that's a stable current all right and the cow is demonstrating how the system works and gets clocked up in the middle in the kill zone. Thank you, Cow, for showing the system. Of course, she could get out there because there is no current. Alright, guys. Hmm, the other cows have mysteriously disappeared. Interesting. Okay. So, um. Yep. That's the way you build some trenches. And uh, what I will do. On my own later is basically add in some more trenches that all connect to this main trench here. Put up another main trench in this direction. And then I'll get started on the killing part, which will involve some lava. So um, that'll be in the next episode. 
Hold on a second, if I'm quick enough, we might get to see the moon rise between the mountains. Let's see if we can manage to see that. Right. Ah. Uh, I'm at the ouchie. I'm at the wrong angle at the moment, but um, yeah, you get the picture. Oh, and there's a skeleton. Okay. Time to say goodbye and run away quickly without dying, preferably. All right. Hey, some more cows. So, um, as always, guys, there is a little button set below the video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So don't be lazy and click the thumbs up or the thumbs down, guys. We need your feedback. So do it. Don't be lazy. You can do something for us as well, even if it only involves one mouse click. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. This is Lutarian Baseball signing off. Goodbye.